you can have all the stuff you can you can prep you can train you can practice this that and the other thing but there's one thing that really really concerns me a lot out of everything All right, so as I was saying, you know, we have all this gear, we have good guns. I have multiple, not one, but multiple bug out locations picked out um, if I had to go to. Loosely picked out, I'll say. You know, you train with gear, knives and this, you learn how to start fires and stuff of that nature. I'm a firm believer in bugging in where I live that's an option. I do live, I live out in the wilderness. I live in the woods. If you live in the city, that might be a little bit different. You need to get out of Dodge fast. Because I live where I live, it is fairly secluded. I feel, especially with a group of people with me, I feel pretty safe staying home for a short while because no particular location is going to be 100% perfect. You may have to move around every so often. What that how often? I, I don't know. I don't know. That depends on many things. But there's one thing that really, really concerns me, as I mentioned, going through something like a shit hits the fan, a bug out situation, is medication. My wife is very healthy, takes nothing. I have a one-year-old at the very moment, very healthy, takes nothing. But then I have myself, and I have a three-year-old. As of right this video, he's, a, he's three. We are both diabetics. We're both type one juvenile diabetes. I got mine when I was 16. He found out when he was two. We take insulin, up to five insulin shots a day. The problem is, take the guns, take the knives, take all of that. The fact that you have to go through something like that with a family, especially two little children, is, is scary, very scary. I tend to think that I or somebody alone, well, let's say two guys, three guys, could go through that better than a family of five, a family of four in my situation. But worse than that, it's kind of scary knowing that the one thing that probably is going to bring me down, the one thing that's going to stop me, me, and or my family is this. This. That's it. This one little bottle of insulin. I'm a diabetic. My three-year-old found out when he was two. We found out when he was two. He's also a diabetic. This one little bottle is what will bring us down. This one little bottle will be the thing that, well, basically chooses whether or not we live. You can have food put away. You can have, you know, you have all your stuff maybe, st I don't, but you could have stuff hidden, ready, ready to go. I have stuff ready to go, but not hidden. This little bottle here, when you pop off the top, not this cap, there's an orange cap on the top. When you open this up, boop, you, you have 30 days to use this little bottle. It's a little, little bottle. That's it. You have 30 days. Once you pop open the top, you have 30 days to use it. After that, it doesn't become deadly. You're not going to get sick, but it gets very, very quickly. By the week, by every three, four days, it starts becoming no good. You might as well just take water and shoot up water. Insulin. I have quite a, a, a stash, if you will, of insulin. Insulin is good for two years. Less than two years, honestly, 18, 19 months, less than two years. Once that bottle is produced and made, you have less than two years. Once your insulin's gone, by the end of the day, from morning to sundown, 
my son and I will be very sick. To the point we're really not going to be very helpful. Beyond that, we will be basically laying on the ground, going into a coma. As I understand it, you're going to get sick. There's a lot of vomiting, a lot of... I've been there. You go into keto, ketone acidosis or ketoacidosis. You go, and, and eventually there, there is a coma, and eventually, I mean, there are stages, and then you will die without insulin. Now I'm talking, this is complete shit hits the fan. Factories, electricity, everything is done. I'm not talking a day, a weekend, a week, one month. I'm talking forever. My problem is that once the insulin's gone, I'm done. I am the survive. I am the protector of my family. I'm the one with the ideas. I'm the one with the training. My wife, yeah, she can get by, but not without me. It's very important and I've talked to some people that I want my wife, my family, to be hooked up with somebody. I want a group of people so that when that day comes, she can continue. Now, we've had this talk. She doesn't like having this talk, but we've had the talk. She doesn't want to continue without me and my son. A part of me doesn't blame her. Um... I've thought about it a lot. I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to get sick. I don't want, because it doesn't get better. We're type one juvenile diabetes. It doesn't go away. It will not go away if I lost more weight. It will not go away if I eat better. We will certainly use less insulin because we're not going to be eating like we normally would. But the fact is, it, it, we will die. That's all there is to it. It doesn't matter whether you have the perfect bug out location. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how well you are trained in this, this, and the other thing. We're going to die without meds. And if any of you are on medication, um, I'm guessing it's kind of the same. Um, maybe if you're on, let's say, something like antidepressants or anxiety. Well, I don't even know if that would work during this bug out situation. Or let's say you take something for, uh, I, t I also take high blood pressure, but I can go a lot longer without high blood pressure medication than I can insulin. Insulin, one day. One day. If I didn't take insulin, I'm going to be going home in about two hours. If I did not go home and take an insulin shot and have my dinner, tomorrow morning I'm going to the hospital. There will be an ambulance called and Tim has to go to the hospital. Or my son. The thing is, is, and this is my concern, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to be a burden to my family, my wife, the group. We've had the talk, and I will, let's just say, I, um, I will take care of myself. We'll call it that. I will make sure that I don't get to that point. I will make sure that I'm not a burden to the group. I'll make sure that they don't have to make the hard decision. I will take care of that. My really big concern is my son. I don't want him to go through that. Someone will have to take care of him and that will probably be me. And then myself. But this is what you have to consider. My wife says, if, if she hates this conversation, as do I. She said, if we ever get to that, I, I, I don't want to go on. I don't blame her, but she says, I, I don't want to go on. I don't know. Maybe we're all going to have to um, be dispatched, if you will. So it, it, it's something I think about a lot. Do I want to go on? Do I want to wait to... I don't say now. I'm talking like it's bad. We're talking end of the, end of the world civilization as we know it. It's complete, absolute 
anarchy out there shit hit the fan gangs going around raping killing pillaging and you know you're with your group and even them you mm, I don't know who can you trust who can't you trust do you want to continue if I wasn't a diabetic if I was single if I didn't have family maybe I would Maybe I would want to continue. Maybe I would want to see how far I can take this and see what we can do with this. Hopefully, maybe we can turn around civilization. But the fact is, and I would do the same as a diabetic with family, but the fact is I don't have the time. I don't have the time. At best, I have, I would say, a year. Not at best. Minimal a year, at best, a year and a half done something has to be done about me and my son if it ever gets to that and um, if you are like myself and you're into this stuff and this is stuff you think about and you plan and this is not actually why I have all this stuff I mean obviously you know this stuff is fun, I enjoy the videos, I like going out doing this. I've been over here for a long time already right now, a couple hours playing around, I got another two hours to go. You know, I, I really enjoy this. I'm not doing this to plan for the end of the world. Actually, it's starting to cloud up. I might end up having to shut the show down early, but if you have medications, you have a disease of some kind, and you live a really good life, you live a fairly good life, active life, whatever, do you think about when that time comes, what are you going to have to do? Do you think about that? I do. I do a little too often, actually. Doesn't keep me up, but I think about it. Because half of your prepping, or maybe even more than being prepared for that day, is this up here. You can have all this. If you don't have this, you're not sharp, you're not ready, you're not hard, if you will, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. If you're like myself and you need a medicine to live, you're in real trouble. Now, again, I have ideas how to get more, but I have to take into consideration this stuff has a shelf life. It doesn't last forever. Just for shits and giggles. This one here, I opened two weeks ago. So I have 30 days, right? If I didn't open this, the expiration date on this is October 2016. This is good for one year. And I have a bunch of these. And I'm talking like I maybe have... I'm going to say 50 bottles of this, and then my son and I take another one called Lantus. It's a longer lasting. We take one of those a day, multiple shots of this a day. No uh, cinnamon. Did I say that correctly? That won't work because I've heard people say, oh, just take it. It won't work. Diet helps. Diet, if you are a type 2 diabetic, you're overweight, you control your diet and you exercise regularly, you could actually lose your diabetes. We're not gonna lose our diabetes. It's not gonna go away if I lose more weight. It's not gonna go away if my son just holds his breath for 10 minutes and, you know, well, actually it would go away. Forget I said that. <laughs> One year, and I have a lot of these. One year. So, that's horrible information, I know. It's something we have to think about. Everybody always talks about knives, you got your guns, you're gonna stash away ammo, you got your food, you got your water. I can get that. I have that or I can get that. I have all this, no problem. I know how to stop fires, I have locations picked out, I know how to build shelters. I have a very small group of people that, that I'm going to plan on being there that day or when, if, if or when that happens, I, I think when. Do you think about your medications? And I'll stop rambling on because I'm just going in circles now. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching this video. 
for privacy reasons, you do not have to put in the comment box below what you take or what your condition is. I get that, that's totally found me, I respect that a lot. Yeah, it's something I think about. Have you had the talk with your significant other? That's something to think about. Um, you have to, you have to. Knowledge is more than anything else. If you don't have knowledge on how to use a knife, the knife is useless. You don't have knowledge about all this stuff, it's useless. You have to have the talk, you have to communicate with your team, your group, your family, your significant other, your kids, are they in their teens? Do they know what to do? My wife doesn't want to continue. I don't blame her. And I hope we never ever have to make that decision. Thank you for watching everybody. Be well, stay safe. I'm looking forward to your comments down below, okay? Bye.